morning guys welcome back to my channel and back to yet another weekly vlog i guess these are becoming a weekly thing now hence the name weekly vlog but i used to film them all the time i'm not sure if it was last year or the year before i filmed so many weekly vlogs and i just kind of died off and didn't do it anymore so here we are again this week i have a few things planned it's currently wednesday i'm about to go to brisbane to shoot with my sister freya so that'll be fun i don't know how much i'm going to film today i just thought i'd start the vlog and tomorrow, I'm going to get my eyebrows laminated for the first time, which I'm really excited about. So I'll see if I can film like a time lapse and I can like talk about how it was my experience and show you, you know, the before and after, obviously. That's all I can think of right now. And then we're coming into the weekend. I've got a few dinners planned. So yes, very excited. It should be a fun little vlog, but I better get going because I need to head to Brisbane. Um, I'll show you my outfit quickly, actually. It is from White Fox. I don't know how well you can see in this lighting. It's like a really nice sage color, which I absolutely love. It's like a nice big shirt. So I'm shooting in this today. I'm not sure how I'm going to sit it, but we'll figure it out. I need to put my washing away. I need to put this box away. My room is trashed. That's another thing I need to do. Fix this room and I want to put white sheets on too. And eventually I actually want to paint this wall white. Ryan doesn't want to, but I just think it looks so much nicer because it doesn't go like we have a red bathroom with a gray wall. It just doesn't make sense. Oh my God, guys. <gasps> Look at this. I showed you already on my Instagram. Oh my God. It's by Prince by Paul Prince. I'll put it in the video and I'll link it down below. She sent this to me of Theo and I am absolutely obsessed. I like nearly cried when I opened it. I think it is amazing. Look at this. So you can get like obviously any um, picture of your dog or cat or whatever animal and they'll do that and you can choose the background, you can choose the words here, you can choose the frame and I just think it looks really cute. It looks a lot nicer than that calendar I had there. I actually wanted to get rid of that because it was looking a bit messy. So I've hardly vlogged today but this view is way too pretty. Get out. <laughs> you were going to do that. <laughs> oh, look at this getting some quick afternoon photos. That's about it, it's kind of all we've been doing today. on my way to the gym I'm training back in arms today and then straight after that I'm going to get my eyebrows laminated for the first time ever so I'm really really excited about that I literally have no idea what they do but I've asked her if I can film so I'll do like a time lapse lapse so you guys can see you know the process that's why I woke up this morning and made sure to wash my hair beforehand so um, I didn't have to do it after because you're not supposed to get them wet for 24 hours. I'm excited to have like nice fleeky eyebrows that I don't really have to do much to. I don't really have to do that much anyway because they're tattooed but I just really want to try it because I feel like it looks really nice. So I am very much excited. I'm not so much excited for the gym. Really not in the mood for it today but I'm going to smash it out. At least it's just an arm sesh I find. Arm seshes aren't as like exert. They don't exert as much energy so a bit less daunting and I am back from both the gym and getting my eyebrows done I didn't end up filming anything uh, while I was getting them done because there wasn't anywhere to put my phone and I would have been holding my arm up for like an hour to try and get a time-lapse so I didn't film anything but it was pretty basic anyway she I think wax the top and middle of my brows first let me show you up close actually um, and then she did the lamination so she puts like this chemical on my brows and then put glad wrap over it and that sat um, for I think about eight minutes and then you repeat the process and then she waxed the bottom did all the plucking tinted them and now I've got like a little oil over them and I have to leave that on for two hours and then I can just wash that off with a cotton pad and then I have to just make sure I don't get them wet for 24 hours I am really loving them let me try and show you up close 
they look so nice and full obviously they look really hectic right now because when you get your eyebrows tinted they're always really dark at first and that um, makes them last longer because they fade over time but I really, really love them. I got them done. So you can get them done in a few different ways. And I didn't know this. When you get your eyebrows laminated, you can either get them laminated straight up, which makes them huge. And then you can trim them or you can like get them done to the side, which is what I did. So they're kind of angled out that way. And I didn't trim mine because I just wanted them to be a little bit unruly. I like the messy brow look. So we just left them. I didn't trim them or anything. And yeah, I'm really, really happy how they turned out. Yay, they just look a bit heckers right now, but I'm sure in a couple days they will look fab. I'm really coming at you guys in some states, aren't I? I think for the rest of the vlog, what's the day today? Thursday, Friday. I think I'm going to be glam, which is great. I'm looking forward to being glam. I don't wear makeup much during the week, like proper makeup. Um, but on the weekends, I like to do some nice makeup. And I've got some new makeup to play with as well. I showed you guys those palettes on Instagram, but I haven't shown you one here. So in case you missed it, I got the Nubian palettes which Nikki Tutorials talks about, and they look amazing. I've already dropped the bloody green ones, which I'm so angry about, but they didn't crack too much, thank God. Oh, I'm honestly so angry that I cracked it. It was like sitting on the side here, and I accidentally pushed it off. This one up here is just not staying. Maybe I need to put some rubbing alcohol. Is that what you do to like put an eyeshadow down? Anyways, I'll be really careful with it now. So that's the first palette, and then... This one is the Nubian 2. I don't know why it's so much bigger, but I'm not complaining. Like, this is honestly a highlight size. But yeah, they're amazing. I'm really, really excited to keep trying them. The only color I've used is, like, this one right here. Just a really natural one. So, on the weekend, I'm definitely going to play with these. Right now, I'm going to clean up this room. I really need to dust everything. I'm going to do a quick back and then I'll feel cleaner and like I can sit in this room and get some work done. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And then later, I'm going, well, Ryan and I are going to the movies for the first time in four or five months and I cannot even begin to explain how excited I am and how much I've missed the cinema. If you guys are OGs, you know. Me and Ryan religiously went once a week. It was our date night. We loved it. And not being able to go has honestly been really sad. It's been one of the things I've missed the most. I'm very much excited to go tonight. Guess what? Movies! Movies! Ah! I'm so excited. What's the movie we're seeing? I have no clue. And that's a good thing. Let's just go in there blind and ready. Have you watched the trailer? Um, yeah, David Copperfield. Something David Copperfield. The amazing life of David Copperfield? I don't know. Something Copperfield. Okay. <laughs> He's a magician, right? Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. It's based on a weird... I don't... I, I... I don't know if it's based on his life. It's like maybe to do with like magic or something like that. But I heard that it's just a good movie. But it's not okay. just about like his biography. It's like yeah. more funny and like it's magical. It's a drama comedy. Yeah. So it's yeah. like funny. And I don't think it's like based on how he lived or anything. I no. think it's just like a, just a funny version. take of it. Yeah. Mm, okay. So it's been a good four or five months since we've been to the cinema. I know. And usually we're always doing it every vlog going to the movies. But we haven't, and now we finally can again. Yeah! I know you're gonna love it. We're going to gold class as well. What? You know what? Where else do we go? Gold class. Or only gold class for Alex. Oh, you know? shush. We always go. No, <laughs> no we're we just trying to spice things up. Treat ourselves this time. We oh my god, 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 oh my god. When I blow dry my hair and I flip my head over, it makes my forehead look really big because my hair sits up just that slight amount. Yeah. And my eye look like I've got a five head. Look at that forehead. What's going on? It doesn't always look like that, or does it? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's my big eyebrows. I don't know. Anyways, movie's finished. That was a wild ride. It's not about a magician. Uh uh. <laughs> like we thought. So there is a David Copperfield yes. magician. I watched this him. This was I... based on Charles Dickens. A okay. story of Charles Dickens and wrote, yes. Okay. But Charles Dickens is a famous writer and he writes a certain way. And then that's why you heard when he was like, when the guy would talk, he would say like really witty stuff, right? Yeah, there was definitely funny parts that I giggled at. Um, but the whole movie, I had no idea what was going on. Yeah, if you're like, <laughs> don't want to see like, if you like the Transformers, then don't go see this movie. <laughs> I feel like any blockbuster movie. Yeah, don't it's not go like and that. See. If you but if you like English, if you're good at English, or you enjoy doing English in school, 
If you drink coffee around. in bookstores on the weekend, go and watch that uh, movie. <laughs> like it. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave you guys for now, and I'll see you in the morning. Morning, guys. It's the next day. I'm about to head off to lunch with my uh, high school best friends who I haven't seen in a year. We kind of just disconnected and um, I organized the lunch so we could catch up again because I really miss them. They're my high school best friends and I haven't seen them in ages. So I'm excited for that. Uh, but this morning I've just been doing some work. I went to the gym, hit a PB of 142.5 kilos on the hip thrust, which I'm so excited about. I never thought I would get to that weight. So I'm quite proud of myself. I filmed that workout, um, so I'll insert that now. So yes, it was a good little session and I did finish off that with some apps that I didn't film that because the gym got super busy and I felt a bit orky, so. Uh, but I'll show you what I'm wearing. This is what I'm wearing to lunch today. Really basic, this is honestly my go-to outfit lately. Just a top, leather jacket, pair of jeans and my sneakers. Love it, easy. I really need to get like some more jackets and just like I don't know. I need to do more variations of this outfit. I just don't know what because it's what I feel most comfortable in. Anyways, I'm going to gather my things. Last night was really good. I actually had a really anxious day. Um, well, an anxious afternoon because I knew I was going to the movies and I still had lots to do. I just really wanted to get everything done before going to the movies so I could be like, ah. And I was doing it all the way up until the last minute, like literally until we arrived at the cinema. Um, and I was kind of just stuck in that frantic headspace and yeah, I was super anxious But it was definitely good to go and sit down and switch off and obviously after going to see the movie I felt he was better and today I'm feeling really good. So yeah, just had a bit of a moment there. We're all good Good day today. Um, yeah, so that's all I've got planned. I'm gonna stop blabbing I think when I actually I was about to keep blabbing. I'll talk to you guys later. I need to go. I got this for Theo Watch what he does He's gonna go hide it he doesn't take it outside to the dirt. He'll just put it there. You gonna cover it? No? Don't you want it? He used to do this with his dentist sticks, now he eats them straight away, so... Oh, is that where it's gonna stay? Okay. You can have that later. Good morning, guys. It is Monday. Sorry, this lighting is shocking. I'm just sitting outside by the pool in the chairs. They've actually got like stains on them from the rain, which is kind of disappointing, like waterproof things. You wouldn't think they'd stain. Maybe it's because I didn't wash them before and there's like a chemical on them or something. So you can take these off. So I'll just give them a wash and hopefully that's all good. They have lots of pads. <laughs> I didn't film too much over the weekend. I got a few clips, so I'll insert those now so you guys can see a little bit of what I did. It's basically just me doing a shot and drinking a cocktail, but yeah. Yes. <laughs> that was really fun. It was really nice to hang out with the girls and actually be out at a bar and get cocktails. In Australia, we're allowed to be at bars now. You just have to, there's just a certain capacity that's allowed to be in there and you're not allowed to stand up and dance, which is kind of annoying, but it's just great to be able to actually get out of the house and have some drinks. And the place where we're at plays really good R&B music, which I always love. So it was a very good time. And then on Sunday, I just chilled all day. Um, on Sunday, you guys probably know I've talked about this, but I always just like sit down, watch movies, eat food, it's the best <laughs> just like my total refresh day so i really enjoyed that theo's getting some pats tomorrow i'm actually filming my anxiety video which i'm anxious about because i'm just like 
worried. I don't know how I'm gonna structure it, I guess. I guess I'm just gonna sit down and just talk. Talk about that side of my life. I don't know, I guess we'll see how it goes. So yeah, I'm very nervous about that, but hopefully I do okay. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. And I might start a new one this week. I'm not too sure because I've actually got my mom's 50th birthday weekend this weekend, which I'm so excited for. Just did, like a big old family weekend, which will be lovely. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. It really supports my channel. And to subscribe if you would like to and you would like to see more videos from me. And until then, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Say bye. Bye.